Welcome back everyone to the channel. This is session number two of our save to PDF demo. In the last session we learned and we created one power automate which actually get trigger whenever one HTTP get uh, request is received and then it reads out the, the field of uh, SharePoint list item and convert that into an HTML file and that in turn HTML file gets converted to PDF file and uh, it provides it writes back the response so that that uh, PDF file can be downloaded on the browser. So this is the flow which we did in session one. So in today's session we'll be creating one list command extension so that we can have one uh, uh, icon or button available for us if, if uh, one uh, item is selected then that uh, command action or the command button should be visible over here and clicking that command action our uh, this PDF file should get downloaded in the in the browser. So let's start with that. So I'll be just going to command prompt. All right, so I'm creating one directory. Let's say PDF extension or save to PDF extension. All right, so now I have using human generator. I'll be just generating one scaffolding. So this may take a while, so I'm just uh, pausing the video. So I'm giving extension name, save to PDF, SharePoint Online, selecting the current folder. So as I want to deploy this solution to specifically my local uh, site collection, so I'll be just saying no. And there's no web API we are going to access, so no. And I uh, will be selecting extension. And under the extension, we'll choose list view command set. And just give this, give a name to it, save to PDF. All right, so it may take a while, so let's wait for it. So scaffolding is done. I've just opened my Visual Studio code and I will just open the file, the folder which we just created. Alright, so I'll just uh, directly go to the source folder. So I'm uh, considering that you may be having a bit of uh, knowledge of SPFX framework, how to create the solutions. So I'm directly going to save to PDF command set. And over in this uh, TS file, so if you just scroll down, you will be seeing that uh, we have on list view updated uh, method. So this method is having uh, this command, which is uh, I mean, like reading out the command, uh, command one. So if I open the manifest JSON, so you will see in the items we have two commands, uh, uh, which are which is already provision provisioned with this uh, solution. So because uh, we are going to use only one command, so I'm just uh, removing uh, this command two, and we'll just modify the existing command. Let's say save to PDF, and uh, we'll give it a name. Let's say download. PDF and over here you can use the image URL so I can choose the image URL uh, from my SharePoint library so I uploaded uh, one image URL so I'll just uh, go to my site assets and under site assets I'll just use this download icon image so I'll just use download icon image URL okay so this is the URL we are going to use so I'm just going back to my solution just pasting this the URL now I'll go back to my this TypeScript file and in this uh, on list view updated method you can see uh, we are just reading out that try get command so in command as uh, we just replace that to save to PDF so I'll just I uh, use that same command name so that I would able to this manifest file would able to extract that out and in this one if command is selected so that uh, row should be visible so this by default is written there now we'll go to the on execute method so in on execute method i'm going to remove this case uh, command 2 because we don't require that and in the command case 1 i'll just again replace my uh, this uh, uh, the custom name which we just created 
and in this case what we are going to do is we are going to open one window and uh, we are going to use that window dot open and in the in the parameters will be just passing the the URL which we got uh, from our flow so I'll just copy go to my this uh, flow and if I just open this HTTP request received you can just copy this entire URL and go back to your uh, this uh, core solution and paste that paste out that entire URL so that this uh, will open one new tab and because we are want to create a new tab so I'm just passing that parameter as blank and now as I want to append the list item parameter as I said in previous uh, video that we will be capturing the list item if you see uh, we'll be capturing this list item parameter in this flow so I need to pass that uh, in my custom command action so that it can be read, read out so for that I'll be just adding one uh, parameter and it is in this parameter I'll be creating let's uh, first of all let me just declare that so that I can pass some variable to it and now I'll be creating one variable so let's say const uh, list item ID and uh, from where I'll be fetching that out from the event so event selected rows so it will be just first row which we are going to select <coughs> and uh, we'll be extracting the ID from get value by name and I'll say specify ID so now I'll get ID and uh, because I would like to convert that into string so I can just start uh, do a type casting so this is how I can pass and uh, I can pass the list item ID uh, to my URL and use this variable over here so now we are good so we just uh, added uh, this functionality of creating the new opening a new tab and I'm just uh, doing a gulp serve so in, in turn eventually we are going to uh, compile and build it and uh, we'll create a package for it but right now I'll just do a gulp serve so that we can just test the functionality out so I just uh, got this uh, URL I'll just go to my window and uh, under this list I'll just paste that out so I just copied this debug manifest, uh, manifest file and the entire URL from there and just entering it so it should uh, give me a pop-up to load uh, the file so I'll just open in a new URL so I did not get that pop-up so okay now I got pop-up debug manifest uh, loading confirm yes I would like to load that from my this local server local host now I got this uh, download PDF uh, extension you can see the custom icon is appearing there if I click on it so it should open the window it has opened the window and in the parameter it is passing that uh, list item ID and it just downloaded one PDF file if I just open that PDF file so it should be having the entire data so this is the end-to-end -end process so we just did that in a gulp server running a local host but uh, we can just package that out and in, in a SPP package and can deploy or move that uh, uh, app package file in our local uh, app catalog file uh, app catalog library as well so this is how you can do this entire stuff end-to-end -end. so if a person is selecting uh, if a person is selecting the item and click on download it downloaded the response and in turn running our flow so if you go back to our flow you will find it must have run ran successfully seven seconds ago so it's an end-to-end -end, uh, entire structure so I hope like uh, creating this uh, power automate plus this list command extension you would able to compile the entire end-to-end -end solution to export your SharePoint list item data in PDF so that's it I hope it could be useful for you. Thank you.